So now we have all the elements we want in the scene, but we can see in the viewer that they're currently on top of each other. So what we want to do is move them around. So first we're going to transform the sphere. So hovering over the sphere node and hitting E, you can see that the primitive create node already has transformation parameters and make interactive is already set to yes. So if I then select my primitive poly mesh in the scene graph and hover over the viewer and hit W, it'll activate my transformation manipulators. So if I hit E, it'll be the rotate manipulators and R will sh display the scale. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, transform this, get it to a position that I want. And if I scale this down and hit F, so if I hit F, it'll center the object to my, um, to my view. So if I want to transform my mug, for instance, you can see, however, that in the Alembic in node, there are no transformation parameters. So what I'm going to do is add a transform 3D node. And if I hit E, um, you can see that what my transform 3D node needs is a path. So if I select my mug and drop it down over here and then say make interactive yes, then you can see its uh, manipulators for this assets appear. So I'm just going to rotate this around, scale it up, bring it up over here. So I'm going to do the same thing for the coil. I just transform 3D node, drop it in. E, um, drop in the path, and move it around. So what you can also use to transform your assets is use a transform edit. So this does exactly what it says. If you drag in a path, its current parameters will already appear and so what you can do is edit this. So if I scale this down a little bit and then move it across then this is another way in which you can transform your assets however there is no interactive feature for this one. Now I've just gone ahead and tweaked the positions of the objects but if you like you can pick up the scene file to see what's going on. Now what you can do when you're done editing this is to set the interactive feature off. So if I go into the parameters for my sphere and set the interactive feature to no. And so in the transform 3D by default the matrix interactive is set to no. So if I hit this little yellow cube and um, little square sorry <laughs> and uh, and click on it, it'll reset it to its default value. So if we're sure we're happy with this positioning, this will ensure that we don't tweak them by accident later on as we work in the scene.